let's first of all start with a very very you can say a very basic example let's say i take y equals to sine of x okay i know that x can take all real numbers okay and y lies between minus 1 to 1 right you know that in this case if i draw the set x and y and this is the rule is sine of x you know that all many elements like you can say that 0 you can say that's 2 pi you can say it's 4 pi all the element has the same image as 0 okay so you can say that many elements has the same you know because sine x is a periodic function so many elements has the same image so as such this function is not invertible but if i somehow restrict the domain you can find the inverse of this function so let's see how can we can restrict the domain you know that the graph of sine x is something like this right so what i'll do is you can say it's repeating between minus 1 to 1 so i'll take only one part whether this can be this part where it's only minus 1 to 1 or it can be this part again from this to this so we'll take only a chunk of that this and we'll say that x lies between let's say for i take minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and then again y lies between minus 1 to 1 now if i restrict the domain to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 only this part you can see that in this case the function is an only in this interval the function is an onto function it's a 1 1 function so it's invertible in this range and the inverse we write it as x equals to sine inverse y now the domain becomes the range and the range becomes the domain so the range is you can say the range is x lies between minus pi by 2 to the 2 pi by 2 is the range and the domain is minus 1 to 1. Okay, now, now let's solve the question. Let's say I have been given a set A. I have been given a set B and the function from A to set B is defined as okay. And I am asked to find if this function f of x is invertible whether f of x is invertible first of all to find whether here they have given me the domain and range i have to see whether the function f of x is invertible to find whether it's invertible or not what we have to do is we have to check whether it's a bijective function if it's a bijective function it's invertible if it's not it's not invertible what means is if it's a bijective it should be one to one and should be an onto function let's take the first case which is let's check whether it's one to one so i take two elements x1 and x2 from set a which are discrete now let's say if i write i have to somehow get to the conclusion that if f of x1 is equal to f of x2 then x1 and x2 should be same so I write this as like this. From this, I'll get something like you can say minus three x one minus two x two plus six equals two x one x two minus three x two minus two x one plus six. From this, you can say we'll get the relation x one equals to x t. That means if I am assuming f of x1 equals to f of x2, then I get the conclusion that x1 equals to x2. That means this function is 1 to 1. To now, to find whether f is on to or not, first let's find the range of f. If I find the range of f and if it's similar to this, then we know that the function is on to again.
So we write y as f of x as x minus 2 to x minus 3. Now let's solve this. We'll get x as now I'll write x in terms of y to find the range. That's just how we do. Now you don't see you can see that x is not defined. If y equals to y should be equal to 1. Okay. So from this is there. Now also you know that x x you can see that can't be 3. Now let's see at what value of y x is equal to 3. From this you'll see you'll get minus 3 equals to minus 2, which is not true. So that means for x is uh, for any value of y, I don't get x equals to 3. That means only this part is there. This part x shouldn't be equal to 1. So the range is again real numbers minus 1. In case we had got something like y equals let's say 5 for which x equal to 3, we couldn't have taken that part because that was not in the domain. Since we didn't get anything like that, so only this is the range. Since the range is equal to the codomain, the function is an onto function and the function is invertible. So we have discussed what, how an inverse function is defined. Now we move on to uh, the classification that is even odd function. Now, let's say I have a function from x to y such that an element x belongs to the domain and also the element minus x belongs to the domain. Okay. Now, a function is said to be even function if given x and minus x, f of x equals to f of minus x. This is, then the function is an even function. If the function f of x is equal to minus of f of minus x, then the function is an odd function. Graphically, if you represent this, you, you see that f of x equals to f of minus x. That means for x and if I take minus x, both these values are equal. Similarly, here also it's equal to this, here also this is equal to this. So basically, the function is symmetrical about the y-axis. If I take the mirror image of the right hand side, we will get the same on the left hand side. This is how, this is what an inverse function is. Now, an odd function, if it's for x, if I get this value, for minus x, I will get this value. So basically, it is symmetrical about the origin. This is an odd function, this is an even function.